Hi everybody and welcome back to Live It Well Nutrition. I'm Katie Reitzma, a registered holistic nutritionist, and today I wanted to answer the question, am I zinc deficient? In this short video, I will explain to you why zinc plays an important role in our health, the signs of zinc deficiency, what could be causing your zinc deficiency, and I'll also be showing you which foods are high in zinc, so you can replenish your stores if you need to. Lastly, I'll be showing you some at-home tests to test for your zinc. Please don't forget to like this video if you do, and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos like this, as well as healthy uh, recipes, motherhood-related videos, and natural living. I'll also have all of this information for you in the description box below. So first of all, let's start with why zinc is so important to our health. Zinc is actually found in cells throughout the body um, and it plays an important role in the making of different proteins and DNA. So for people who don't eat a lot of complete proteins like animal meat or quinoa, then our bodies take ingredients from the other plant sources that we do eat and it breaks it down into itty bitty amino acids and then whips it back up again into a completely different protein that we didn't get from say meat, but we still need within our diet. And zinc plays an important role in doing that. <laughs> Zinc has actually shown up in 15 clinical trials which correlated the effects of zinc on weight gain and anorexia. It is largely responsible for positive cognitive health and body perception as well as preventing conditions like depression and chronic anxiety. More with that, zinc plays even more of a role in your cognitive health. A lack of zinc has been connected with learning challenges, behavioral abnormalities, depression, as I mentioned, and lethargy or lack of motivation. Actually, studies have also connected zinc supplementation with improvements in ADHD symptomatology. So besides chronic anxiety, depression, and learning challenges, what are some of the other signs of zinc deficiency? Do you have acne? Do you have eczema, dry skin, thin hair, impaired wound healing? Uh, do you have a whitish coating on your tongue? Uh, night blindness, a lack of smell, diarrhea? You'll probably notice though that many, if not all of these symptoms can also be correlated with other nutritional deficiencies. Night blindness is largely connected to a vitamin A deficiency. Acne could be hormonal. Eczema could be an amino acid deficiency or imbalance and so on. So we'll get into how to test your own zinc levels in just a bit. But if you're thinking, hmm, I think I fit a few of these symptoms and I think I might be zinc deficient, then let's get into what causes a zinc deficiency in the first place most obviously would be a lack of zinc through dietary intake. Simply put, if you're not eating foods that are rich in zinc, and I'm talking about those next, then you're probably not going to have sufficient zinc levels in your body. Perhaps you are eating a diet rich in zinc, but you have damage to your intestinal lining, which causes the zinc that you are eating not to be absorbed. What a waste, I know men actually have a higher chance of having a zinc deficiency because they lose zinc in their seminal fluid. So for every sexually active man, he will lose a bit of zinc with each ejaculation. Those who exercise also excessively <laughs> could also be at risk of low zinc levels. Um, and if you are on birth control, like the copper IUD or have old copper pipes in your home, then you could definitely be subject to zinc deficiency because copper interacts with zinc for absorption. It competes with zinc. Okay, so by now you might be wondering, where do I get more zinc, right? <laughs> 
There are zinc supplements, but before you spend your hard-earned money on expensive supplements, because they can get pricey, I'd suggest you confirm your zinc deficiency through the tests that are coming up next. Or I would consult someone like myself who can help you distinguish the differences in ingredients or active forms used in the many zinc supplements out there. Trust me, <laughs> you don't want to waste your money on supplements whose active forms of zinc are only like 4% absorbable, for example. That's so much of a waste. <laughs> As far as food sources go, animal sources are the highest. In fact, oysters are the highest of all food sources for zinc. Um, and if you haven't guessed already, seafood, seafood, seafood. <laughs> animal meat does have generous zinc levels. Um, but if you don't eat meat, you can also get them from nuts, seeds, and beans. Pumpkin seeds are an excellent source, but you can find zinc in most nuts, especially Brazilian nuts, or even sunflower seeds have zinc in them. Just make sure your seeds haven't been roasted or toasted and try to find raw sources of these. Keep them in the fridge um, so that they don't go rancid and try to keep them in dark amber um, or closed containers. So what is this at-home zinc test? What I've special ordered through a pharmacy, and anybody can do this, you don't have to be a nutritionist to do this. Um, I ordered a brand called Genestra's Liquid Zinc. What you do is you take a teaspoon and swish it around in your mouth for two to three minutes. If it tastes metallic, then your levels of zinc are probably okay. If it tastes watery or has no taste at all, then you're most likely zinc deficient. Obviously, this is an indicator, but not a scientifically proven test, which should be followed up with if you suspect an issue. A hair tissue test can indicate more than you'd think of in regard to heavy metals in your body. So contact your nearest clinic um, that performs this test and see if they send it to a lab that does not wash their hair before testing. Many labs have it as common practice to wash the hair before testing it, and the results are less accurate than other clinics who don't wash the hair. So the clinic that I refer people to here in Canada actually send their samples down to analytical research labs down in the States. That's it for this video. I hope you found it informative and helpful. Give it a big old thumbs up if you did, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see more videos like this. Until next time, friends, live it well, because you only live once. Bye.